These centers represent the district's commitment to making each neighborhood in a place where families can thrive and where everyone in our great city gets a fair shot at success. Yesterday, uh, Mayor Muriel Bowser and the D.C. Child and Family Services Agency announced the opening of 10 family success centers in targeted neighborhoods in wards 7 and 8. You had questions. Where will they be located and how will they benefit those communities? Let's bring Adian Day Till back in. She's got some answers. Hey, Adian. Hey, Bruce. That program is called Families First DC, and Mayor Bowser says it's a neighborhood-based approach that claims to create more pathways for the middle class for families in the district. Here's a look at what that looks like. Benning Terrace and Anacostia are just two of the 10 communities between wards seven and eight where family success centers will be established. According to Mayor Muriel Bowser, the centers will provide government services in a way that's more approachable to the people that live there. Nutrition support, whether it's help with other family issues, whether the children need help at school, whether there are employment issues, all of those things can be best delivered from trusted community partners in the community. That's why Mayor Bowser and the DC Child and Family Services Agency say they created Families First DC, a grant-based program that provides funding to community-based organizations so that they can provide the specific services requested by their residents. On this beautiful terrace, we will be able to have art and yoga in our partner hallway, the entire hallway upstairs. We're gonna be able to bring in health screenings, important health screenings and financial literacy car uh, coaching for families in this neighborhood. Why were these communities selected? According to the mayor, the 10 communities were selected based on health data, violence prevention priority areas, and substantiated reports on child abuse and neglect. So how can families get involved and be part of the decision-making process within the family success centers? According to CFSA, each neighborhood will establish a community advisory council. The councils will consist of residents and stakeholders in those communities. Together, they'll get to select the services offered at their family success center. Rachel Dennis is a native Washingtonian who has lived in wards 7 and 8. She says the Family Success Center at Martha's Table helped get her through this pandemic. They help with cash assistance, they help with food, they help with clothing, resources with mental health, to be able to ha have a home for me and my son. All of the services and programs provided through the government and the Family Success Centers will be provided, Bruce, to community members regardless of their immigration status.